This program is brought to you by Emory University. So the plant builds that and then it sort of closes off the insect in there. Since 2007, Emory University scientists have traveled to Dharamsala, India to teach Buddhist monks and nuns Western science. It's part of the Emory Tibet Science Initiative. So we're teaching them modern physics, um, modern life sciences, biology, and also neuroscience. The goal is to bring modern science to monastic education and to integrate these two critical investigative approaches. It's a long-time goal of His Holiness the 14th Dalai Lama. Emory Tibet Science Initiative provides that kind of missing piece, if you will, that uh, up to now that two traditions have kind of uh, focused separately. Here is an opportunity to come together. While the science and religion integration was the Dalai Lama's vision, ETSI was the brainchild of former Emory College Dean Bobby Paul, who ETSI is now named after. His work, in conjunction with Geshe Lobsong Tenzin Negi, started the Emory-Tibet partnership in the mid-90s, leading to the science initiative. Part of the theory of the Emory-Tibet partnership is that if we can bring these two traditions together in a constructive way, uh, a synthesis can emerge that uh, no one can predict what it will be like, but that it will represent a new development in the frontiers of um, human thought, especially about ourselves and about the nature of our place uh, on this planet. The Dalai Lama believes this collaboration will help preserve the Tibetan culture. He wants the monks and nuns to become modernized. <coughs> that means that they are aware of the knowledge, the understanding of the world and the many, many uh, factors in life that uh, the modern science informs us that they are aware of that so that they are not out of touch with the today's kind of reality. Emory professors Alex Escobar and Carol Worthman both say teaching Tibetan monks and nuns is much different from teaching at Emory. Well, the experience has been both extraordinary and terrifying. While monastic education is very sophisticated, its main focus is on philosophy, logic, mind, and emotions. So instructors basically have to start teaching science from the beginning. And because monks and nuns are so logic-based, they don't just take the word of the instructors. They need proof. It's equivalent of somebody coming into your home and saying, by the way, you know, there's this thing going on and you've never seen it or heard about it before, but you should believe what I'm telling you. It's, it's true. There are two common questions. One is, um, how do you know that? But the other is, well, you just said this, and then earlier today you said that, and last year we read that. How do these go together? So it's like intellectual bungee jumping. But this experience isn't scary for these professors, it's exhilarating. It's an opportunity to uncover powerful new insights in the overlap of science and religion. These monks and nuns are even willing to toss out a long-held belief of the Buddhist faith if modern science proves it wrong. They're, they're fearless. You know, these monks and nuns are fearless. Where do you find that nowadays? Most people are it's like, you know, I believe what I believe and, you know, don't tell me what you believe. It's such a refreshing perspective. ETSI is a five-year project that could dramatically change the future of the centuries-old monastic education system. But that's not all it's affecting. I feel I could give any amount and still not give enough for what I'm actually learning from all of this. For University Communications, I'm Corey Broman, folks. The preceding program is copyrighted by Emory University.